Set in Tampa, Florida, Irene Hunt's Newbery Award-winning young adult novel, The Lottery Rose, 1976, follows seven-year-old Georgie Burgess, a lonely boy from an abusive family. He hides his pain and anguish by escaping into the world of secret rose gardens. When Georgie wins a rosebush in a store lottery, he begins pouring all the love and affection he's never experienced into caring for it. This newfound sense of caring leads him to a Catholic school for boys, where love starts to blossom, and his life takes a positive turn. Booklist has described the lottery rose as a deeply affecting, affirmative story. The narration alternates between third-person limited and third-person omniscient perspectives. The story begins in Tampa, Florida, where Georgie lives with his physically abusive mother, Rennie, and her violent boyfriend, Steve. Despite enduring abuse, Georgie keeps it a secret and becomes a mean troublemaker at school. He talks back to his teacher, gets into fights, and even commits an act of arson under his first grade teacher's car. Despite not being able to read, Georgie finds solace in books with pictures of flowers in the library. One day, a grocery store clerk named Mrs. Sims gives him a lottery ticket, and he wins a small rosebush in the lottery draw. Thrilled with his prize, he rushes home to take care of it. However, at home, he is greeted by Steve, who brutally beats him with a chair's leg. The incident prompts the police to intervene, and Georgie is removed from his dangerous home environment. He is placed in the care of Mrs. Sims's family, including her husband and foster son. Georgie brings his unplanted rosebush along with him. Georgie's social worker and the judge in charge of his case work to find a suitable place for him to live. Throughout this process, Georgie is concerned about the well-being of his beloved rosebush and finding a new home where it can thrive. Judge O'Neill assigns Georgie to an all-boys Catholic boarding school, and he takes his rosebush with him. Upon arriving at the school, Georgie believes the perfect place for his rosebush is the garden across the street. Despite objections from principal sister Mary Angela, Georgie sneaks out one night to plant the rosebush in the garden. The next morning, Molly Harper, the upset owner of the garden, discovers the rosebush and angrily uproots it, demanding to see the principal. Georgie returns with the bush but realizes that in the dark, he accidentally destroyed the lilies that Molly's husband had planted for her. Molly threatens him and warns that she will burn the rosebush if he tries to plant it in her garden again. However, upon noticing the infected lesions on Georgie's back, caused by years of abuse, Molly changes her mind. During their encounter, Georgie falls ill and loses consciousness. Molly decides to allow the rosebush to be replanted in her garden, and she frequently visits Georgie as he recovers. Despite this, Georgie cannot forget Molly's threat and refuses to see her. However, as Georgie starts to mend, he befriends Timothy, who is referred to as Sister Mary Angela's public relations boy. Timothy reveals that Molly's husband and elder son, Paul, recently died in a car accident, which has made it difficult for her to be around boys of Paul's age. Georgie also befriends Molly's youngest son, Robin, who suffers from severe brain damage. Molly's father, Hugh Collier, visits Georgie and offers to teach him how to read. In return, Georgie attempts to teach the inaudible Robin to speak and spends time with him feeding ducks at the pond. In his growing closeness with the Harper family, Georgie starts spending time with their gardener, Old Eddie, as his apprentice. However, he still can't fully forgive Molly for her threat to burn his rosebush. When Sister Mary Angela holds auditions for the school choir, Georgie discovers he has perfect pitch, a pleasant surprise for him. He notices Molly's grief while she and Robin listen to the choir, and he begins to feel deep sympathy for her. Despite his newfound compassion, Georgie refuses to enroll in the drama course if Molly will be teaching it. Instead, he watches every drama class from the auditorium, memorizing each role. Georgie's preparation pays off when a boy drops out of the play at the last minute, and Georgie takes on the role of the Mad Hatter opposite Molly, who plays Alice in the Tea Party segment of Alice in Wonderland. Staying in character, Georgie surprises himself by speaking to Molly in a way he could never do in real life. He gathers the courage to ask Molly if she is his real mother. However, tragedy strikes when Robin goes to the pond alone and drowns. In the face of the loss, Georgie decides to plant his rosebush at Robin's grave instead of in front of the Harper's house. Molly agrees with this decision, and through their shared heartache, Georgie and Molly forge a friendship. The novel concludes with this emotional bond between them.
Irene Hunt, the author of The Lottery Rose, was a renowned American children's author known for her historical novels. She received the Newbery Medal Award for her second novel, Up a Road Slowly, and was a runner-up for her debut work, Across Five Aprils. Some of her other works include Trail of Apple Blossoms, No Promises in the Wind, William, Claws of a Young Century, and The Everlasting Hill. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.